It might sound obvious, but one of the most important elements of geometry is simply knowing your shapes. Yeah, I know you're studying for a college entrance exam, not a graphic design class, but the more familiar you get with shapes, the better you'll do on the ACT. So in the interest of acing the math exam, let's start by talking about parallelograms. Parallelograms are four-sided shapes with two sets of congruent parallel sides. Remember that parallel just means that the two sides will never intersect, no matter how long they are. Parallelograms can be slanted, or they can be rectangles or squares. In a parallelogram, the opposite sides are not only parallel, they're also congruent, which means they're the same length. So if you know that two sides are 4 and 6, then you know the other two sides as well. Let's use this information to solve a problem you might see on the ACT. In the following figure, ABCD is a parallelogram such that AB has a length of 3 centimeters and BC has a length of 7 centimeters. What is the perimeter of ABCD? A is 10, B is 20, C is 30, D is 40, and E is 50. We'll underline our facts and circle the keywords as usual. The answer choices represent perimeter, so let's label them that. The first thing we need to do is to label the figure with what we know. AB has a length of 3 and BC has a length of 7. Since opposite sides on a parallelogram are equal, we know that CD is 3 and AD is 7. To find the perimeter, we add 3 plus 3 plus 7 plus 7, which is 20 centimeters, or choice B. One more thing we know about parallelograms. Because all parallelograms have four sides, their interior angles all add up to 360 degrees. Also, opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. So if the measure of angle A is 60 and the measure of angle B is 120, then the measure of angle C must be 60 and the measure of angle D must be 120. Now let's apply this to solve a question you might see on the ACT. Each of the smallest angles in a parallelogram is 50 degrees. Which of the following is the measure of each of the largest angles in the parallelogram? A is 40 degrees, B is 80 degrees, C is 130 degrees, D is 260 degrees, and E is 310 degrees. Let's organize the information by underlining, circling, and labeling the answer choices. Since we have a geometry problem without a picture, we've got to draw one. All right, let's draw this sucker out. We know that the smaller angles are both 50 degrees, so label angles A and C as 50. Now we can use the rules of parallelograms to determine that angles B and D must be equal. Let's mark them both as x degrees. Our equation is 2x plus 2 times 50 equals 360. Simplify that to 2x plus 100. Now we can subtract 100 from both sides and get 2x equals 260. Next, we'll divide by 2, and we find that x equals 130 degrees, which is answer choice C. Aren't parallelograms fun to hang out with? Once you know two things about them, you know pretty much everything about them. So make sure you recognize parallelograms when you see them on the ACT.